This is completely different from anything I've been to, but I've done every single preparation I can. What you doing? Studying plants. Yeah. I'm trying to memorize the shapes. I'm doing a lot of book practice. I was reading about these worms from the Mopane tree. Apparently they're really nutritious and people love eating them. I'm hoping this person's some special forces badass because I sure as hell ain't. I'm pretty confident in the challenge and being able to last 21 days. The only thing I'm super concerned about is getting sunburn early off and then being in pain, I guess, for the whole time. Hey, you must be my partner. I always wanted to be naked on camera. I just didn't <laughs> right? expect it to happen this Not way. this way? I'm Don. I'm Holly. It's nice Holly, to meet you. nice to meet you. All right, you ready to do this challenge? Yeah. Right. Get some gear over here. Naked? <laughs> Naked. And afraid? Hopefully lower on, the, lower on that end. Yeah. Here in the wettest region of Namibia, broiling heat during the day is quickly replaced by frigid temperatures and violent storms at night. Even though Don and Holly will benefit from an abundance of water, they will be living in the deadly domain of the four-ton hippopotamus, which kills more than 2,000 humans per year. I was doing my research and it turns out the herbivores of Africa are more likely to kill you than a <laughs> predator. Uh, my first impression of Don, he's really good. He seems really smart, really book smart. There's no cover out here. When that wind stops blowing, it's like an oven. Oh, I see water. Really? Yeah. No way. Holy. Yeah. Yay! I kind of want to get some water from the water lilies okay, cool, down there. Yeah. You can actually drink it straight from the bulb and it's I've, water. I've heard that too, yeah. but I, I kind of doubt it's truth. Lily straw, it's supposed to purify some of the water. I think it's just a myth that does that. I, I don't think it'll work at all to filter out germs, but... It tastes clean. Yeah. We'll find out in like a day or two if I yeah. have the or not. Yeah. Tell me what you feel. Having a nauseous tummy and a horrible headache is not my idea of fun right now. Yeah, you realized earlier that you drank so much water from the river. You just gotta be careful. Definitely fight and throw up. Fight and throw up? Mm-hmm. Can you just go behind the bush and throw up? <coughs> Thrown up a few times, so I think I'm super dehydrated and now I'm trying to drink tons of water and it's not working out very well because I'm just going to throw it back up. I feel that I just work better as a team. And I'm just one little human out here in the middle of Africa with all of these animals. Just going lone wolf, some people can manage that, but I, it's not me. Hmm. I just walked into a marula tree. Holy Boy, you can go. What? Kind of mucusy looking, but. Mmm. Sorry, baboons. I'm eating all your foods. Mmm. <laughs> you guys try these? These are so good. I think Holly will change her mind when she tries these. Mm. Time to do damage control and try to keep her in the game. There you are! Okay, give me your hand and don't open your eyes. Taste this. Ew. What? That's amazing. Hold on, let me show you another one. This, how about more sour one? This is a sweet one. I do want to talk about options with you. What do you mean now? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably drop out. No, 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 no. Don't, no, no, don't. Why are you gonna drop out? Why, why? I just, I'm not emotionally up to it. And I know you need a partner, but I feel like you can do all this on your own. I can't do it on my own. I think I you can. can. I can't. You got this up here? No. Don't think I have it in me. I think I'm done. No, 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 no. And I think you got it. No, I don't got it. You got all this I fear? really don't got it. No, I don't. Please not go. This challenge is not what I expected it to be. 
course feel like I abandoned him. He definitely, um... Got it, but I'll stay for as long as I can. Good, I don't got it. it. I'm just feeling really bummed right now. On paper, yeah. I, I, I could probably do it, but... All right, well, I have some news for you. <clears throat> Since Holly quit on basically day two, we're gonna get a new partner out here. We're gonna just restart. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then y'all will start a new 21-day challenge. I'm really excited for a second chance. I'm good. How's your mom? I'm super sad that I'm not able to end this journey with him on day 21, but this is something I can't tolerate anymore. I, I can't be alone. <laughs> I mean, it was already crushing enough to have Holly leave me immediately. So I have two women leaving me and I feel so like, what's wrong with me? I realize that I'm here because I, I wanted to learn primitive skills firsthand and I wanted to explore and test myself. And I still want to do that. I think I can make a fish trap. I've only read about this in Boy Scout manuals. This is my amateur attempt translating a textbook image into a real life concept. The prime objective is to get at it and get, get some food. That took a lot of energy to make that fish trap. I gotta make it pay off. Walking by my camp, I hear it going. I only got like an hour or two of sleep. I had to tend the fire. I don't want a hippo to wander into my camp and stomp me to death while I'm sleeping. Now the moment of truth. Ah, oh, nothing. Oh, really close. Not close enough. I can count my own ribs. The top of my sternum. Straight out of the northeast. Just came out of the northeast out of nowhere. Damn it. I need to get the fire going as fast as possible. Without an extra person in there and have body heat, that's the end of the game. This is hypothermia conditions. Keep my bedding as dry as possible. This is my only insulation source. Even now, as I'm being dripped on and sprayed upon by the rain, I still can't stop thinking about food. Tucked in the shelter, fire's big. Could be bigger. Hopefully this rain will be short. The shelter is pretty much compromised. And um, I'm getting soaked. And I think this is how it ends. This is over. I can't keep up just body heat on my own. Uh. Shelter's leaking all over me. Oh, this is how you die. Calm down. Calm down. Last night just burned so much energy being cold. Definitely the hardest night by far. But I gotta eat. Oh, lightheaded. <laughs> Nothing. Blue sky breaking up. The weather's just so related to emotion here, more so than other places, I feel. Oh, I'm gonna have 
don't cry. I just want to cry. It's too pretty. This is why I'm alive. It's to see places that haven't had their beauty and rawness and amazingness bled away. This reminds me why, you know, I'm so glad to be alive. Every one of my senses is alert. You know, the mud between my toes, the cool water, the current, the trees, and this huge sky. This is why I'm going to stay afterwards, even after the 21 days. Yeah, two fish. Woo! Thankful for that. Look at that. Two beautiful fish. Highs and lows out here. Near death experience at night. And now, crazy existential moment in the water. I never know what to expect. I need every ounce of nutrition I can get out of these two fish. I'm just gonna eat them whole, bones and all. This is the first meat I've had since I've been here. I'm so happy, I could cry. Mmm. my last day. Walk out of here and eat a proper meal and begin rebuilding my body. Somewhere over here, so there's these small pools. So I need to cross these pools directly or go the long way around. I'm just gonna go straight through, even though there could be dangerous animals in the water. I stay alert for the crocs and hippos. Ah, all the cuts burn so much, and the grass is rubbing on them. I'm definitely nervous walking through this tall grass. I know that animals are down here in the daytime to stay cool. He's not gonna see me. Hey! I'm heading to Cincinnati! I've read a lot of books about survival skills. Coming out to Africa and having to practice them in real life was like trying to go through survival school with no instructor and the environment just crushing in all around. That's, yeah, you can't learn that in a book. I didn't expect two partners to leave me. Nothing I could have done could have prepared me for that. I spent a total of 23 days out here, but I was able to do it alone. I pushed myself to the, to the edge of what I could do, physically or mentally. An opportunity like this is just the reason I'm alive. Woo! Another 21 days, bring it on, Africa.